Hello and welcome to the lesson. I'd like us to solve this question on linear motion and velocity time graph. So here's the question. 1a, the figure below is a velocity time graph of a car. You can see the y-axis of velocity in meters per second. Then you have time in seconds. 1, find the total distance traveled by the car. 2, calculate the deceleration of the car. B, a car left Nairobi towards Eldoret at 7.12 a.m. at an average speed of 90 km per hour. At 8.22 a.m., a bus left Eldoret for Nairobi at an average speed of 72 km per hour. The distance between the two towns is 348 km. Calculate 1, the time when the two vehicles met, then 2, the distance from Nairobi to the meeting place. So those are the questions. So let's go to the first part. Now given the velocity time graph here, you're supposed to find the total distance traveled by the car. Now to find the total distance, uh, we need to get the area enclosed by this velocity time graph. When you get the area enclosed by this graph, that will give the total distance. That is the easiest way. So when you look at the shape, which is enclosed by this velocity time graph from 0 to 4 to 20 seconds, you see that this is a trapezium. So when you get the area of that trapezium, it will definitely give the total distance traveled by the car. So how do we get the area of a trapezium? Area of a trapezium is given by half times the sum of the two parallel sides times the height. Now in this case, the two parallel sides are here. So the first one is here. So this distance, which is from 4 to 20, that is a 16. Then the other one is uh, the whole length from 0 to 24. So that distance is uh, 24. Then the height, that is a speed from 0 to 80. So now we can get the area. So area is equals to a half times the sum of the two parasites. We have 24 plus 16. Then multiply by 80. So this will give a half times 40 times 80. And this will give 1600 meters. So that is how you're supposed to find the distance, total distance traveled by the car. Part 2. Calculate the deceleration of the car. What is deceleration? That is when the speed reduced. And when you look at this graph, you can see from 0 to 4, that is acceleration. This point, this is acceleration. Then there is a constant speed here with the no change of speed, 80 the constant speed then this is the point where we have deceleration uh, this is the point so look at this movement here this is where we have deceleration where the speed reduces from 80 this is uh, 80 meters per second to zero meters per second now to get deceleration we get the change of speed with time so this one is going to give a negative speed since you can see that the speed is reducing from 80 to 0. So to get deceleration, we get the final speed. The final speed is 0. Final speed is 0. Then the initial speed uh, is 80. 80 meters per second. Then the time taken to decelerate from 20 to 24 seconds, that is a 4 seconds. So from 24, these are 24 seconds to 20. These, these will give 80 meters per 80 meters per second divided by so these will give 80 meters per second divided by 4 meters this will be 4 meters. So 
So to get deceleration, you get zero meters per second. That is the final speed minus the initial speed, 80 meters per second, divided by time. This time is in seconds. So you get this will be zero subtract 80. You get negative 80 meters per second divided by 24 seconds minus 20 seconds. This will be four seconds. And this will give a negative 20 meters per second squared. That is how you calculate deceleration. Part B. A car left Nairobi towards the Loret at 7.12 a.m. At an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. Then at 8.22, a bus left the Loret for Nairobi at an average speed of 72 kilometers per hour. The distance between the two towns is 348. Calculate the time when the two vehicles met. Solve this question. We shall begin by just drawing a line here, showing the, the speed, and this will help us to calculate. So let me draw a line here. So here I shall have the car the car which is uh, moving at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour and then left at 7 12 a.m this is uh, nairobi this is nairobi then this point is eldoret so the bus left this point at the speed of uh, 72 kilometers per hour and it left at 8 22 a.m. Now, what you're going to do, you can see the car left Nairobi at 7.12 a.m. Then the bus left Eldoret for Nairobi. So they're moving towards each other at 8.22 a.m. So you need to get the distance moved between 7 by the car between 7.12 and 8.22 so you can see the bus left later. So by the time the bus was leaving, the car had traveled a certain distance. So that distance, so the distance, let's calculate the distance, distance by car that is uh, from, from 712 to 822. That is when the bus was leaving, you want to get what distance what distance was traveled by the car when the bus started the journey so get this difference 7 12 this will be 822 822 subtract just do it here so 822 subtract 7 12 you realize this one will give um one hour and 10 minutes one hour and 10 minutes so one hour, 10 minutes. So this is one hour, 10 minutes. So how do you get the distance? Distance by car will be given by speed times time. And what is the speed? The speed of the car is 90 kilometers per hour. Then one hour and 10 minutes. You can write this one as a fraction. Convert this one to hours you get this will be 7 over 6 hours. 1 hour 10 minutes is equivalent to 7 over 6 hours. When you multiply this, 90 times 7 over 6, this will give 105 kilometers. So this is the distance traveled by the car between 712 and 822. That is when the bus was now leaving, the car had already traveled for 105 kilometers. So we can come here and indicate it here that this distance now traveled is 105 kilometers. So what is the remaining distance? So the remaining distance, meaning distance, be given by Remember the whole distance from Nairobi to Eldoret is uh, 348. Then the car has moved um, 105 kilometers. So when you subtract this, 
you will get uh, 243 243 kilometers so that is the other distance so this distance that is here uh, the remaining distance here let me show it like this so this this distance here so this distance is uh, 243 kilometers now the bus left at 8.22 and uh, we're given the speed of the bus the distance between so we are supposed to get the time when the two vehicles met now what you're going to do here we shall assume now that there's a distance that was moved by from this uh, point that is 105 that is when they were at Pana. And we can take this one as the meeting point. Or denote this one by meeting point, point N. Point N is the meeting point. So there is this distance that is here uh, between the these 105, these, uh, we can call this X, this distance that is here. the distance of the car to the meeting point that is after covering 105 kilometers we can let this distance to be denoted by x kilometers so the remaining distance this is the distance now covered by the bus the distance covered by the bus from 822 to the meeting place this would be given by 243 243 minus x why because you can see this distance the whole of this distance here is 243 kilometers we've let the distance at uh, this distance from uh, 105 to the meeting point to be denoted by x one thing that you're supposed to realize is that the time taken by the bus from 8.22 to the meeting place and the time taken by the car from, you can see at this point where we have 105 kilometers, this is point, we can call this point M. The distance MN is X. Then the distance N uh, to the bus, this is where the bus started the journey. So you will realize that the time taken by the car from point M to the meeting place, that is N, and the time taken by the bus from Eldoret to the meeting point is the same. That time is the same. So that is the common thing that is going to help us to calculate this distance. Uh, this distance x that the time taken by the car from this point m to the meeting point the meeting point is n and the time taken by the bus from eldoret to the meeting point that time is the same so how do we get time how do you calculate time how do you calculate time So to calculate time, we need distance over speed. And we shall start by the time taken by the car from point M, that is after covering 105 kilometers. So that will be distance to be distance over speed. The speed of the car is 90 that one that time should be equal to the time taken by the bus from eldoret and the distance that distance is 243 minus x divided by the speed of the bus which is 72 kilometers we just leave it as 72 72 kilometers per hour so this time is the same 
So we're going to solve this uh, equation here. And this equation is what is going to give us the value of x. So to solve this, we just need to cross multiply. x multiply by 72, you get 72x is equals to 90 multiply by 243 subtract x. This will give us uh, 72x is equals to 90 multiply by 243 give 21,870 minus 90x. Like times together, you'll get this will be 162x is equals to 21,870. So x will be given by 21,870 divided by 162. And this will give, well, when you divide this, you get 135 kilometers. So this distance here is therefore 135 kilometers. Now after getting that distance, now the question is the time when the two vehicles met. The time when the two vehicles met. So, to get that, we shall use um, the car. Using the car, the car had traveled um, for one hour and uh, 10 minutes from Nairobi to the meeting place. So this distance here, one hour, 10 minutes. Now we need to calculate the time now taken from point M. This is after covering now 105 kilometers to the meeting place. And you have that distance. Uh, MN is 135 kilometers. So we need to get that time. Time. That time will be given by distance over the speed. And uh, distance, that distance, we want to get this time in the second here. Distance is 135 kilometers. 135 kilometers divided by the speed, which is... Um, 90 kilometers per hour when you divide these you'll get this one will be 1.5 hours which is the same as one hour one and a half hours or one hour 30 minutes so therefore this time taken from m to n will be one hour and 30 minutes now with that, we can get now the time taken, the time when the two vehicles met. So using uh, the car. So from 7.12, from 7.12, we are going to add now time to meet. Time to meet is equals to 7.12 a.m. plus uh this time taken from the after covering 105 kilometers that is from m to n one hour 30 minutes one hour 30 minutes there is uh, but before then there is one hour 10 minutes yes it had traveled for one hour 10 minutes so we add one hour one hour 10 minutes then again now from M to N, 1 hour 30 minutes. 1 hour 30 minutes. When you add this uh, very well, you are likely to get 7.12 plus 1 hour 10 minutes plus 1 hour 30 minutes. You get 9.52. 9.52. And that is the time when the two vehicles met. Now, the last question, distance from Nairobi to the meeting place. The distance from Nairobi to the meeting place. The distance from Nairobi. That is quite easy. Now, looking at uh, where the car started, it had uh, traveled fast for 105 kilometers, then 135 to the meeting point. The meeting point here is N. 
So you just need to take 105, 105 kilometers plus 135 kilometers. And this will give 240 kilometers. So it is as simple as that. And that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question on linear motion and velocity time growth. Thank you.